Despite the arrest of a Florida man earlier today, the bomb scare that dominated national headlines this week isn't close to being resolved. At least, not when it comes to the heated national debate around what it means for our political climate. Among the open questions, whether President Trump's anti-media animus plays a role. Adam Riley has more. On Tuesday, Obama addressed Hillary Clinton. With more bombs sent to Barack Obama, other prominent critics of President Trump and CNN. To have projectiles, I mean, that's a, excuse me, that sounds like a fire alarm here. We'll keep Anchors Jim Shudo and Poppy Harlow promptly evacuated, but continued reporting from the street. They're now moving us, uh, Jim and I, and everyone here from CNN, all the way down the block. At first, the attempted bombings were denounced by politicians from both parties, including the president. In these times, we have to unify. We have to come together. But soon, Trump changed his tune, tweeting that anger in society is caused by fake news and adding mainstream media must clean up its act fast. As Trump blamed the press for the bombs, CNN head Jeff Zucker blamed the president. Jeff Zucker wrote, there is a total and complete lack of understanding at the White House about the seriousness of their continued attacks on the media. Which the reliably pro-Trump Fox News thought was a reach. We have so many people on the left and in the mainstream media all day rushing to judgment as usual, to score cheap political points. Fox Business's Lou Dobbs went further, calling the bombs fakes aimed at hurting the GOP. After Dobbs deleted those tweets, the president seemed to agree, tweeting, this, quote, bomb stuff is dampening Republican momentum. That tweet is still online. Hmm. Well, I mean, this was a question that was asked at today's press conference, whether the animus that the president has towards the media and other you know, factions in society has anything to do with influencing people's behavior. I don't know if that's a question that's ever going to be able to be answered. And I also think that CNN took this a bit far this week. I want to say that. Yes, the bomb was, or the package was delivered to CNN, but it wasn't necessarily targeting CNN, although apparently the, the person who was arrested had CNN stickers and Trump stickers and some other of the politicians on the truck. But they, they, they seem to be sort of reveling this idea that it was all directed at them. Although I can understand Jeff Zucker's position on this because, after all, the bomb was delivered there. Well, this is a media show, so naturally we want to focus on whether or not there was a bomb sent to CNN. But, I mean, essentially what we're looking at here is a list of everybody who Sean Hannity yells about every night uh, getting bombs delivered to their, to their houses and whether the, or offices. And whether this is directly related to President Trump's rhetoric or not almost doesn't matter. It's just wildly irresponsible for him to keep doing this for him to keep saying the, the, the press is the enemy of the people uh, and to denounce these other political figures in the uh, personal slashing hateful terms that he does, uh, it does create an, an, an atmosphere where this sort of thing can happen, whether you can directly connect this particular series of incidents to the president's rhetoric or not. You know, I, I agree with you. I, to me, though, this was a profound lack of leadership on the part of this president. Uh, he did not come out early enough, strongly enough, or uh, distinctly enough in naming uh, the targets, and that this was an attack on our institutions, and one of them being the press. Uh, the fact that he consistently calls us, uh, or the press, an enemy of the people, I think is hugely irresponsible. This would have been an opportunity to defend that institution, defend the presidency. This was an attack against two former presidents, uh, and all of the institutions, the Congress, but he didn't do it, and it, to me it was no. a profound lack the of opposite. leadership. He said his, this bomb stuff is it, detracting from the important things, which is the mid midterm elections. He treated it as a partisan yeah, political right. uh, uh, situation, didn't defend the Constitution and the, an attack on our institutions. Yeah, it's really something to see him vacillate between these scripted statements of we should unify and this is terrible, which come off as like hostage statements, like there's someone <laughs> yeah. off camera, you know, threatening him to say that. And then the minute he's off camera, he's tweeting and he's, he's back to his regular self. So that's a joke. But look, th there's no argument that irresponsible media behavior, m with media being broadly defined here, occasionally coughs up a violent kook who acts. Pizzagate. 
uh, ridiculous nonsense about a sex ring being run by Hillary Clinton and others in that the basement of a Washington yeah. pizza mm-hmm. joint circulates on the mm-hmm. right wing uh, nut uh, media uh, circuit for months. Eventually, a kook shows up with a gun. Uh, in uh, in overseas, Facebook falsehoods spread on Facebook and resulted in lynch mobs killing people. So it's certainly not beyond the pale that all of this irresponsible behavior by the president, Fox, and others uh, helped provoke this guy. We'll find out sooner or later. But to pretend that it's absurd, that it's and that it couldn't happen on the left, I don't hear anyone pretending that because clearly it could, is just ridiculous. And then, and then to follow up on it, there are, to your line of kooks, there are some kooks who have specifically named him. There is a guy grabbing on a woman on a plane just last week. He said, well, Trump said he could grab, you know what, so I can too. Same thing with violence. There have been people who've, you know, slapped around people or threatened them with guns and said, hey, this is Trump's country. And so that's why I'm able to do it. This is exactly what they see as a motto. So. You know, I am not saying don't write me that the president, you know, made the kook do that. I am saying they've heard it. They've internalized it. And it's an atmosphere that boosts that kind of response. And somebody who's fragile for sure is going to respond. Somebody who's on the fence. Exactly. So, I mean, this is, you know, we know what the environment is. And I am worried all the time. We've already seen attacks on the media. I mean, real physical Mm -hmm. deaths and attacks. I'm worried all the time about what could happen. He keeps on saying this. It's it's horrible. I agree.